Welcome. Thank you. Am I talking loud enough for everyone? Hopefully. Awesome. Uh, so yeah, hello everyone. Uh, did you know, and I recently counted, um, in the backstage plugin marketplace, there's already over 80 open source plugins. I think that's pretty amazing. Um, and today I'm going to share with you a quick story about how I contributed my first one, and how I think you can too. Uh, so as, as you mentioned, my name's Isaiah. Uh, I work at TELUS, and uh, t if you don't know, TELUS is one of the three largest telcos in Canada. We're also a growing tech company uh, in the way that we're expanding across new industries. Uh, and specifically, I work on a team uh, that is the platform team, and we, we're pushing the adoption of Backstage across a lot of different products and teams at TELUS and trying to grow its adoption. Um, so why am I here? Uh, so over the last few months, I've been, as I said, working with the Backstage team at TELUS. And while I was doing that, I took on a personal project to contribute back a plugin to Backstage. So I saw this project as meeting a few goals. Um, from a product perspective, Backstage wants to integrate across more and more tools because you want all your developers to be able to find everything that they need in one spot. And same from a business perspective, we wanted our developer portal to do that for our devs. Uh, from a personal growth perspective, I wanted to do this because I'm a back-end dev in my normal job, and I wanted to learn about React and TypeScript. Uh, so this is what I built. It's pretty simple right now. Uh, it integrates with a uh, SaaS tool that we use called Dyntrace. Uh, it does monitoring and observ uh, uh, sorry, observ observability. Um, and this plugin just surfaces recent performance anomalies and synthetic monitoring for a given catalog, software catalog entity. Uh, so how did I get to this? Uh, so I started at the start uh, with the, con uh, the contribution guide. And so I made a, an issue suggesting that this plugin is something I wanted to build. And I got the thumbs up. So I went ahead. And I started reading docs and reading other plugin code to see like, what the conventions were. Uh, and then this was the look on my face. <laughs> because these docs were so good. And the code that I was reading was super easy to understand. It was very clear that there were set conventions in place and everyone was following them. Uh, so I, I started putting together what I had in mind. And it was really like putting together Lego blocks. Um, I went to the backstage storybook, which was super helpful for me because as a backend dev, not a ton of React experience. So I took that and I took other people's plugins uh, and I started building a front end with some mock data. I uh, got something presentable, and then I needed to integrate with uh, Dynatrace's API. Uh, so I found the backstage backend proxy, which was super useful, super easy to set up. It just takes a couple lines of config in your, your um, backstage's app config. So that's, that's what I did to, to get some real data into my plugin. And that was pretty much it, aside from some just fixing things up and getting it presentable. And then I need to submit a PR, so I did that. Uh, and of course, part of that process, uh, I had to talk to, at TELUS, we have an open source office that talks to our legal team, so I did that. And they were like, yeah, it's okay. Um, and then I also talked to Dynatrace to see if it was okay to use their logo. And I said, yeah, that's great. Uh, so I did it. Uh, there's a few things I missed. Uh, I listed on the slide that I, so I went back and did those things and maintainers were super great about it. Uh, and so now that's, that's merged and it's live and we use it in-house and it's, it's there for people to contribute new features to and I have a few ideas as well. And so my takeaways from this kind of project was, for one thing, building backstage plugins is super fun. Uh, I had a lot of fun doing it. It was a great dev experience, so thank you all for, for building that. Um, and the docs are really, really good. So as part of my uh, presentation that's available on the, the website for this event, I've included a slide with all the links that I found the most helpful. And then you can contact me as well, or come talk to me here about, throughout the conference. I'll be at KubeCon all week uh, if you want to ask me any questions about it. Uh, yeah, that's my lightning talk. Thank you very much. <laughs>